All right, now we're back to the final section on variables for this recording. We started with the variable section, and then we went down and talked about late variables using a modifier. Okay, and so now we're going to be learning about final and const. And I'm going to be learning it with you and walking through the documentation together. All right, let's get started. If you never intend to change a variable, use final or const, either instead of var or in addition to a type. Okay, so let's break this down. A variable, as the name implies, is um, a bucket that holds a value that can vary, hence the name variable. <laughs> um, in other programming languages, you have this concept of a constant, which is a, a variable or bucket that doesn't change the value or um, the location in memory to which it refers, because um, it's always going to be the same. Um, okay, so there are cases where we, once we set the value of a variable, we don't want it to change. Um, and so it's interesting in Dart that we have two ways to do that. Um, but let's, let's see what it first just looks like in code. Um, simply based on this first sentence. So instead of var or in addition to a type. So there's two ways we're going to look at. Let's go do that now. Um, let's say instead of var. So for example, let's say hello world instead of being inline an inline string like this let's call it our hello text and we're going to define our hello text bar hello text equals hello world and we'll run that make sure it still works okay now it said you can use final or const in addition um, instead of var Okay, so let's do const. That's the first one that I'm kind of familiar with, just from uh, other programming languages, and JavaScript has the word const. So I'm saying that in this program, we'll never change this. As an example, we say const hello text equals the hello world string, and let's say we're going to try to change it to hello Mars, something like that. Can we do that? Okay, constant variables can't be assigned a value. Try removing the assignment or remove the modifier const from the variable. Okay, I like this highlighting it has here. It's green. It looks a lot like our late modifier that we did earlier in the video. Okay, so I like how they call it a modifier. It's modifying how this uh, constant, or sorry, how this variable uh, is defined. Okay, so we can't do that. Let me try to run it. And so we're getting an error, so it's not even allowing me to do this. Uh, let's see if final gives the same type of thing. The final variable can only be set once. Let's compare these documents. So I'm going to command click to open in a new tab. I'm not going to go there yet. But that's going to be the one for final. And then I want to see the one for const, because I think those were two different diagnostic messages. Okay, so the one for final can only be set once, so it says you can't do this. You can't set it, uh, you can't declare it here um, and assign a value and then, and then reassign a value. You can't have a value assigned to it after it was initialized. Okay, and again this is a local variable. Okay, so maybe if it was a top-level variable instead, maybe we could do that if we defined it, let's say, outside of our function thing there. Hello text can't be used as a setter because it's final. Okay, again, that's a different... Thank you. 
it's a different thing. So I moved it out where it's not local anymore and I get a different diagnostic message. Okay, assignment to final. The analyzer produces this diagnostic when it finds an invocation of a setter. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, if you need to be able to set it, so like in this function, they're setting the value of V. Uh, they just removed the final modifier. Um, that's all they did. Okay. So a little difference in like how, whether it's a local variable or it's quote unquote a setter. Um, because technically, I mean, like, okay, it's top level, and it's called a setter there. Now that it's a local variable, we don't get the setter um, error message. It's just, um, those are semantics, I think. All right. So that was the diagnostic message for final. Let's see the one for const. Constants, uh, constant variables can't be assigned a value can't be assigned a value. Okay. The analyzer produces this diagnostic when it finds an assignment to a top level variable, a static field, which I think by default variables are static, or a local variable that has a const modifier. So what we're doing here is a local variable that has a const modifier, like so. This variable is local to the main function. It has a const modifier. We're doing an assignment here and also a reassignment. So what's the difference? The value of a compile time constant can't be changed at runtime. Okay. If the variable must be assignable, then remove the const modifier. So if the constant shouldn't be changed, either remove the assignment or use a local variable. Okay, so they kind of seem similar so far. Let's get rid of these diagnostic message um, things. Let's see. Okay. So what we've done so far is we've demonstrated that instead of var, uh, we could use just the modifier. Let's see what happens when you do that. Okay, members can't be declared to be both var and const. Uh, try removing one of the keywords. All right, so this is the other case where we said um, or in addition to a type. In this case, const can be a modifier in addition to a string. And we'll probably just have this one error now, yeah. Okay, so let's comment that out. So we assign a value, we print it, and it works. So that's a constant, and a final should also work. Okay, so far we really haven't seen the difference between const and final. Uh, the little minor semantic differences, uh, whether it's local or a top level variable. Um, let's see, you probably get the same. No, this, okay, yeah, yeah. Final var should also produce that same, yeah. So members can't be declared either const or final in var, basically. Try moving the keyword var. Okay, so that's what it usually recommends. Okay, that's fine. So now we're doing type inference um, on a final kind of variable. Cool. All right, that's the first sentence broken down. A final variable can be set only once. A const variable is a compile time constant. So it's a little semicolon here. They're like two statements that are kind of closely related but um, stand on their own. A final variable can be set only once, and then a const variable is a compile time constant. Okay, compile time constant whereas final says it's set only once. All right, what is the difference here? Const variables are implicitly final. 
Okay, so all constant variables are also final, but all final variables are probably not necessarily const or constants in that sense. They're not necessarily a compile time constant. Okay, because like maybe it's set once at runtime, but it's not set at compile time. Okay. A final top level or class variable is initialized the first time it's used. Okay, so this kind of sheds light on that. Let's say you have a variable, you modify it, use the modifier final um, when the program compiles it's it's not going to set uh, its value. It's only whenever, for example, if it's a, a field in a class, and so it's a class variable in that sense, not until, let's say, the user logs in and creates a, a user profile, so then you're creating a, um, an instance of a user class. You, may, you might have a, a variable called name, and then it's, it's final. It's not a const. Like we're, we're not saying that a user can't change their name once it's set, but it, it's final in the sense that... Um, we're only setting it once during the life cycle of this this instance this this instance of the user class, uh, which is in memory. Okay, um, that seems like it's kind of the idea because um, it doesn't know at the time of compilation. It's not a constant like pi. You know what I mean? It's not, uh, for example. Okay, I would use const to define pi. Um, I wouldn't use I wouldn't use final here because, like, when when this program compiles and and even before before I run it, when it does its little ahead of time compilation uh, to check for errors, um, this is just like a, a reference constant. It doesn't it doesn't need to be figured out um, at runtime. Okay, so that's another way to distinguish between final and const. Okay, instance variables can be final but not const. Okay, yeah, so an instance variable um, which represents data for an instance of a class, um, again, those are final because they are set once uh, but not at compile time. Okay. So you don't want them to be set at compile time. All right. I think th this might make more sense once we get into the area on classes. So um, we're on variables right now. Uh, later, so there's types, functions, operators, control flow, classes. So down here in classes, when we get into all this, we'll be going through instance variables. Uh, and constructors to to create class instances. Okay, so just hold your horses on that if, if you're not totally getting it. Here's an example of creating and setting a final variable. Creating and setting a final variable. Let's take a look at this over here. Okay, so we have a name variable, Bob, it's without a type annotation. All right, this is stuff we just looked at, where you could have it by itself, so it uses type inference to say, hey, I know that's a string. And then this other one, um, we are modifying, uh, in addition to specifying the data type, or modifying it, saying it's a final variable. Okay. Um, all right. And yeah, it's not set at compile time. It's when it actually runs is when it assigns this. And then we could print it if we wanted to. But um, I think we already covered this enough, so let's move on. You can't change the value of a final variable. So if we wanted to change this to so this final variable can be set only once, we're going to be able to see that. If we try to reassign Alice, there it is. Name can only be set once. Okay, so that's what they're showing us there. All right, so now here's, here's an opinion 
from the DART documentation. And opinions are good because it's one less thing we have to think about. All right. Use const for variables that you want to be compile time constants. Okay. If the const variable is at the class level, mark it static const. Uh, again, in classes, um, I think we'll be covering uh, the use of static. Okay. When you declare a variable, set the value to a compile time constant such as a number or string literal a const variable or the result of an arithmetic operation on constant numbers okay so a constant number is not the output of a random function uh, like the, the random number generator okay um, a string literal um, or a, a numeric <laughs> literal a number literal is something like that. Like this is this is just a literal number um, assigned to this constant bar. Um, you could have a string like I had over here uh, for Bob. Like Bob right here, this is a string literal. It's not referencing some other variable like this. Um, okay, it's it's not doing that. Um, where, where Bob, like this is the string literal for, literal for this variable called Bob, uh, but when I'm assigning it, I'm not using a string literal here, even though name, uh, when you print name, I think it would be, it would still print Bob. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it says when using const, use literals. So let's say, this is final. What if I use const here where it says don't do that? Will I get an error? Const variables must be initialized with a constant value. Okay. Yeah, and we're going to get an error here. Because maybe somewhere else in my program later, maybe I change this value of Bob. Maybe I'm passing this variable around. Um, and I change it again later, and then I call this main function, and I need to print name. Okay, well now, name was set as a uh, at compile time to, to Bob, uh, but because it was done by re referring to this other variable, it has the potential to change. Um, it's it's not going to work according to how they specified the use of const. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Anything, we just want to give it a string literal. And all is good with the world. Thank you, Bob. Okay. All right. Const keyword isn't just for declaring constant variables. You can also use it to create constant values as well to declare constructors that create constant values. Any variable can have a constant value. All right, let's see what this is all about. Let me put that into my main function. So the first thing we have is a variable with an unknown type. It's whatever this const array thing over here evaluates to. Um, so foo represents a constant of now I've, I've never seen constant on the right side here um, so this is just an empty array that's a constant okay now this final bar assignment is the same kind of thing is foo equal to bar Okay, const baz is equivalent to, okay, yeah, I don't get this. So, if you have less experience than me and you get it, congratulations, you are smarter than me. <laughs> but if you're like going through this and like, what does that mean? Um, well, welcome to my world, because I kind of have experience in this, but I still, I'm not, really sure what they're trying to convey to the reader here. It's not just for declaring constant variables. 
you can use it to create constant values. Okay, I don't, maybe we need to read a little more in, in these examples, maybe they all go together. Any variable can have a constant value. Okay, so that's what it's saying. This variable, without understanding what this is doing, this constant like empty bra uh, bracket thing, it's saying that this variable has a constant value. This value is of type constant. It's, it's, it's modified as, as const. Okay, whether you use var, final, or const there. Um, yeah, and I guess we can use const on the left. We don't have to use const over here on the right because it's implicit. What if we did use that? What if we said const like that? Do we get any more kind of errors? Oops, don't want to save that. It's not printing anything, it's just assigning it all in the background. And it's just say it isn't used. Okay. Yeah, it really doesn't do anything when I when I do it on both sides, so uh, maybe it's just redundant. Alright, you can omit const from the initializing expression of a const declaration, like for baz above. Okay, so that was that last line. We could have omitted that. For details, see, don't use const redundantly. Okay, maybe, maybe I can click on this in a second once I'm sure I don't need it anymore. Now I'll just open it up in a new tab. Okay, so I'll have this here. You can omit const from the initializing expression. Oh, okay. Because they've they've this is the initializing expression, so where I've highlighted, they don't have const here like they did on line ones and two. They've omitted it. Okay. Don't use it redundantly. It means don't have it on the left and on the right. Still kind of confusing because I've never seen it on the right to begin with. Um, so now I'm having to balance this whole final const thing and then having seeing it on the right side of the, the assignment is like, what? Okay. You can change the value of a non-final, non-const variable even if it used to have a const value. You can change the value of a non-final, non-const variable. Even if it, so a const value. Okay, so this was all about values. The keyword isn't just for declaring constant variables. That's where the const is on the left side. You can also use it to create constant values, which is the thing on the right side. Okay, so you can change the value of a non-final, non-const variable. So for example, if we had var foo, okay, this is not a constant variable because it doesn't have the const modifier. So foo is not a const, but it holds a value which is. Uh, therefore, we can reassign it one, two, three. Okay, there's a list of integers. Okay. You see how I'm, I'm basically doing what this line says. It was const, this thing. So it's a non-final, non-const variable because it was just var foo earlier, even if it used to have a const value. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. And now we can print foo. Let's just get rid of these guys real quick. Okay, we'll run that. Okay. So as long as this foo variable isn't, a, isn't <laughs> modified as const, you can change the value even if the original value had, was a const type value. Okay, so we're breaking this stuff down slowly. <clears throat> 
Let me make sure I was right about that don't use it redundantly thing. Yeah. So this is okay. Const primary colors, you have your modifier there. But you don't have the modifier on all of these things. And this is this looks like something you'd see in Flutter. Okay. Now it looks like you could have okay, and it's a list of colors. Uh, here, that's okay to, to do that, but if you have um, this const, which is saying, okay, the list is a constant, uh, but then also that all these colors are const, like these, these values in here shouldn't change. And again, they're like putting const there. So it looks like you can modify array, or sorry, list value types um, in maybe widgets or whatever this thing is, happens to be. Um, okay, so don't do that. Don't don't do redundant things. Okay, and this um, is a Dart two thing. So if you're working in Dart one, you may have been able to get away with it. Um, okay, so Dart two allows you to omit the const, or maybe. Maybe in Dart 1 you had to, remember I'm new to Dart, so I don't really know about Dart 1 versus 2 really, uh, but maybe in Dart 1 you had to be like very explicit, like, hey, my variable is const, and so is my uh, value. Okay. In context where an expression must be constant. Now, is the expression constant, or is the thing on the left, the variable, or the thing on the right, the value, the thing that must be constant. Okay, I think what they mean here is the the value on the right side of the expression. When, when those must be constant. The const is implicit. You don't need it. Uh, because it's redundant. Okay, const collection literal. That's um, when you have a const in front of a list indicator and a square bracket indicates a, a, a collection literal. Okay. All right, that one's done enough. Okay, you can't change the value of a const variable. All right, so originally we had final like so, we had final bar. So remember uh, it said earlier something about a final, okay. Um, I thought it said somewhere in here where it was like all like all const are final but not all finals are const can be said only once a const variable is about it implicitly final const variables are implicitly final okay final top of Maybe it was one of those um, error message documentations. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, but earlier we did say that we had final. Okay, bar was equal to const. And then they're saying, you can't do this. You can't reassign it. Okay, so now we're saying, oops, baz. Not bar, sorry. Baz. Control C, command C. Okay. There's then you can't do something like that. You can't do reassignment to the constant variable. Okay. You can define constants that use type checks and casts.
casts. That's a hard thing to say. Casts. You can't define const. You can define constants that use checks and casts. Is and as. Man, that's a time twister. Collection if and spread operators and blank and blank. Okay, so these are two types of spread operators. Um, we haven't gotten to that yet. We will later. All right, let's check these out one at a time in Dartpad. Okay, looking good. Let me just comment out these other things. All right, const object i equals three. So i is the variable, and I think it's just saying it's not used, so it's throwing that little error. So let's just say print i. Okay, so if we print it, it's going to be three. i is a const object with an int value with an, yeah. So what is that trying to show us? Yeah, this just looks like it's modifying an object. Like, like this would normally just be int, but if you weren't necessarily sure that you were gonna assign three, maybe I could also be a, a string, and both string and uh, a string and the integer three, they inherit from object. So that works. Okay. Nothing fancy going on there. Okay, so now we have a list. I don't know, I don't think I've seen this before. This whole like bracket i as int. Just typecasting. Maybe they go together. Okay. What does that do? Okay, so list it's a constant and it has this like array, i is int. Okay, so it's typecasting that. So for example, Let's say we change this to a string. There's an exception. Constant expression. Okay. What is the point of typecasting an integer as an integer? Don't know. Okay. Don't know. const map use is and collection if. So let's see what that does. We don't need that list anymore, but we have our initial i. Now, so there's a map, right? So it's between these curly braces. If i is int, then return i int. So I'm expecting have a three, or sorry, a one. I thought that was a three originally. Is it a three? It is a three. It's not a one. Yeah, so it'll be three colon and then the string int. Let's find out. Okay, there we go. Okay, interesting. So it's like type checking. Collection if. Interesting. Okay, I have not come across that concept yet. The last thing is set. Um, this is using the spread operator, okay, and we're using list here. Okay. So if list is a list of integers, which it kind of like has taken that i and made it such, then spread out the list. So it's just going to be like three, like an array called three, and we're calling that set.
Okay, so this set is going to have the curly braces. Look at all this foo. Yeah. Yeah, the reason I changed that, like, usually the keyword set, you see how it's green? It's like a, um, it would have thrown an error if it was a reserved word. Um, it's not a reserved word, because I was able to use it as a variable. Um, but I think it is a keyword, because I, I do think you have, like, sets and dart. Not a dart set. Sets, yeah. Set class. Yeah, collection of objects. Okay. Yeah, and I prefer to not use those keywords, so that's why I renamed it. Okay, last little bit. Although a final object cannot be modified, its fields can be changed. In comparison, const objects and its fields cannot be changed. They are immutable. So a final object. For example, we had, let's say we have final object. Okay, we have a final object, a variable i. It's assigned a value of three. We print it. Done. A final object cannot be modified. I equals five. I changed my mind. Let's modify it. You can't modify it. Okay, fair enough. Although it can be modified, its fields can be changed. Okay, what are the, what are the fields for this object? Okay. Is that like this stuff? Are these fields? Dart object fields. I think you might have to have a, um, Let's see, let me click on this and search for field. It doesn't show up. Do they mean properties? Are they using that term interchangeably? Like the hash code can change. The runtime type can change. I don't know if the runtime type could change because it, it's supposed to only run once at runtime. To be set once at runtime. A final variable. I can see this changing if it was, well, yeah, okay, yeah, that one's a little bit beyond me as well, um, I think this might be referring to classes, and again, we'll have to see in the classes uh, video, if that's the case, okay. Lists, maps, and classes. So you'll see more about const uh, to create constant values in the list, map, and classes uh, documentation. Okay, that was the most advanced um, <laughs> like dive into final and const for variables and Dart. Um, so again, I think that the documentation for Dart is, is pretty good compared to documentation I've seen out there in the world. But sometimes, like even, even for me, like I would want maybe someone who wrote the documentation or has been working with Dart for a while to be able to answer my questions or to explain like this is why they're um, saying these things at this time because I remember I was looking at this originally and, and some of these were like, okay, why, like, what's the importance here? What's the takeaway that I need to uh, be aware of? And so some of it was kind of like, like these constant values, like that seems like a subject in and of itself. Uh, when do you use those? Okay. Most of it I understand, I think. Um, 
whether it's a compile time constant or I want it to be set at runtime, I would use final. Uh, so that's something to think about in terms of like how the user is going to use the value. Is it at runtime or is it something that when the app is deployed, when they open it uh, at the very beginning on their phone, it's like it's compiled to their phone. Let's say if it's a Flutter app, that's what I'm thinking of. That's when you would want like a, a constant to be defined at that moment. Um, some of this stuff was advanced because I hadn't seen it before. I've seen spread operators in, in like the new ECMAScript, new JavaScript, ES6 or whatever, ES7. Uh, but some of this other stuff, like type casting and collection if, that's all new to me. I haven't seen it before, and um, hopefully we'll discover it in some of the other areas in the documentation. Uh, but for now, that is it on variables on the language tour of Dart.